Hello and welcome to I Open Flesh and Blood, the channel where I open flesh and blood. Today we have the fourth box, the last box in the second sealed case that I've opened on this channel. And we're changing up a little bit. All right, last uh, uh, episode, which you should check out, um, I talked about Twinning Blade, one of my favorite cards. Um, I found it, I put it here. It is going to be my good luck charm for this box because. Uh, I'm looking for something big in this last one. I hope it's something big. I need the help. I need the help. Um, but yeah, hopefully you've checked out all those other videos. Watching those, of course, helps me out. Um, you know, grow the channel. I know there's a billion unboxing channels, but on a, you know, I like to think that uh, I'm pretty good at background noise, you know. Got a nice setup, I think. Mic sounds good, you know. Hopefully. Um, but yeah, if you're enjoying your yourself, give me that like. You know, give me that background background noise like. But uh, we're we're kind of sloppily going through this one. Um, it's been a long day. It's the last box I'm recording in a row. Realize uh, how hungry I am. But do you know what I'm really hungry for? Shiana, baby. All right, I'm really hungry for that, Shiana. We got the good luck extra charm. We got our normal good luck charm, which is, you know, not doing super well for us today. But let's get started here. Last box. Do not know. I said this last time, but I don't know if I'm going to open more on the channel until maybe Aria. But we are starting with a rousing aether and nothing else. Starting, starting, starting small. Well, you know, sometimes I have some a week, and I just want to open some stuff up. So you might see uh, more crew unlimited. That's our close notes and a righteous cleansing. All right. Gosh, yeah, we were just looking at some of the guardian arts and and these judges or whatever these are. Probably should check the lore, but these uh, cleaving ass judges are are pretty cool. Is this the sledge of Anvilheim? Actually. Can't really tell with that dude's face in the way. But I do really like how, like, when you think Guardian, you think, you know, protect, you know, a protector. But uh, these Guardians are like, you know, uh, what am I thinking of? Like the, uh, what was the, the bad guy in Guardians of the Galaxy? Um, one of those judges. Fuck, I can't remember. I can't remember. It's been a while, but one of those judges, you know. Or like Judge Dredd. Not Judge Judy. Um, but either way, I mean, Guardian's big part of the Aria lore, so a lot of people are thinking that Guardian will be in uh, Tales of Aria. We got Gaze of Ages, our first wizard. I feel like the first wizard M in a while. But, uh, look at this dude. I really wish it, it was zoomed in a little bit more so I can see his uh, scary ass face, but. Love the art. I mean, one of the reasons that I, that I picked this game up is just because the art on some of these cards are just so freaking good. Um, we got a lunging press and the claw behind it. Cool. Starting slowly got two normal ones come on we got a cavdane cavdine cavdine and we got fine center all right not too bad i guess lots of people still playing ninjas so that card is probably not worth a dollar um, some of these are Wrong! Uh, we got Overblast. Again. Get behind it. Come on, Twinning Blade. Give me your power. I really do hope that... Uh, I've said this before when opening Monarch, but the Monarch Extended Arts were, like, cool. But they weren't, like, breathtakingly amazing, like the full art here is. Because the extended arts exist for like promos, like extended arts exist, you know, for a while. But I'm hoping Aria has like some bangers like this. Um, I think LSS is 
uh, trying to put more chase cards in there in the set that aren't just the cold foils, which is really nice. Kind of adds more hits, potential hits that you can get. But hopefully we see some full arts, some alt arts, like the galaxy, stuff like that in the new set. We got salt the wound. Hopefully, yeah, there's no salt in the wound. We're, we're, we're getting through this box and it's probably the weakest ones we've gotten so far. Held up. I'm getting riled up. Are you at least an M? Yeah, you are, baby. All right. We'll take the gambler's glove. I don't, again, know the prices. You, you're seeing it right now in the bottom right-hand corner. Those are the prices, the time of editing. But I do know that pre-unlimited gambler's glove was doing pretty well. So nice to see an M equipped. Sure you're tired of me saying it but not everybody watches every video um but uh the m equips are short printed so they are harder to find i have not gotten that many promise of plenty two or so long all right we got four normals still no rainbow foils we're still owed one from one of our boxes where we uh, only got one and i think we owe it we we get that in the form of shiana or a shard Right? Yes. Salt and behind it. Oh boy, it's looking like one of those cases. We can get at least a, a snag, maybe another snag. Another snaggy poo. Find it. Aetherize. Okay, well, speaking of wizards, we got that Aetherize. Couple more to go at any moment. Any moment could get something amazing. Uh, not right now. Not right now. Okay, but at any moment, <laughs> you could get something amazing. Ooh, okay, okay. These were... Uh, in first edition, these are freaking killer, but I don't know what they are like in Unlimited, but we got a Rainbow Foil Gorganian Tome, which is nice. I'll definitely take that. Nothing behind it. But, yeah, look at that. Ooh. Looks good. All right, well, that's one of our Rainbow Foil M's, and that is a good one to hit. Let's see what else we can get. Maybe another Courage of Bladehold? Seven! No. Put behind it? All right, we're getting down to the last six packs. And we got more. Sorry. Hurry. Or side just disintegrating a man or woman. I think it's probably a man. See that those people are definitely cindering. Pretty terrifying if you really think about it. Seven round. Wait, did I count wrong? I guess I did. Didn't help. But we got a ranger majestic. Fane death. All right. Tales of Aria, we need you to up that ranger game. Make some of these cards a skyrocket. I feel like I'm getting a lot of ranger stuff. Three more, four more. Three, four, five, six. Let's slow roll these last four. Ah, we're looking for a big hit here. All right, give a little touchy poo. Okay, and copper. Okay, not the greatest thing there. Not the greatest thing there, but. Money's money, copper's money. Maybe it's gonna lead us to a money card. All right? Behind this warrior. I wonder if we'll get, ever get this dude as a hero. Looks pretty badass. We got reinforce the line. Not what I want. And wherever behind it. Okay. I don't think. Uh, I don't think we got one of those God cases <laughs> unless we get Shard and Shiana in the uh, last thing here, but 
Oh boy, oh boy. All right, swing fist. Think later, think later. No emerging dominance. We're definitely thinking later. I'm definitely gonna think to myself later, like where, <laughs> where are the good cards? Where are they? Last one, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Predatory Assault, the darkest cards of all dark cards, especially in this Japanese printing. Let's go from the bottom here. We have an M. Is it going to be rainbow? What is it? It's a ninja tech. We got a Heron's White. Okay, I don't know if that's a good one or not. But it is nice art, so at least we have that. All right, well... Twinning Blade, you didn't really help, but I mean, I guess we got the Tome. Really don't know if that's super worth it uh, now, but um, wait, we didn't get any Rainbow Full R's? Oh, that's weird. Um, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Hit us with the average again. Six for uh, regular Majestics. And we got two Rainbow Full Majestics, so we did not get the bonus one that I was hoping for. No legendaries, no fables. I guess I will need to open some more. Um, but yeah, that is it for Case of Crew. Again, I gave a little summary in the, uh, the fourth episode of the last opening, which is that, I, I don't know, opening crew, because there's way less, like there are chase cards, but, they're just like kind of less interesting chase cards, you know, like the rainbow foil equips or the rainbow foil weapons or things like that, which are like kind of cool, but they're not that cool. Um, so I always feel like opening crew just doesn't feel as nice because again, because there's way less legendaries, you don't get them as often. You especially don't get them. We got not great luck like me. Um, so, you know, it's still, Obviously, I feel a little bit bad because I didn't get one, which is probably to be expected since I got one last time. Um, but uh, yeah, if you're starting out and you're brand new, of course, you don't want to start with crew. It's a supplemental set. Uh, you want to start with something like uh, Welcome to Wraith and Ark. And uh, I've opened up quite a lot of those. And I really like the feeling of opening up WT and Ark because they are random, of course, but they have a, cons a general consistency. Monarch is kind of bonkers. Um, and crew is kind of in the middle. So either way, thank you all so much. Um, will I open another one? I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll need to see what prices are going to be like. Um, afterwards, there is an, another giant wave of Crucible of War Unlimited coming out at the end of the month. I've heard it's pretty big. Um, so maybe it'll flood the market, um, which is great if you're buying singles. Not so great if you want to kind of flip a couple cards like I like I try to but um, either way if you don't see me uh, the next month you know I'm coming back for Tales of Aria so I will see y'all one day could be soon could be not and until then Twinning Blade out bye